We can also calculate number of moles if I am given the number of atoms, number of particles, number of compounds or formula units. You use Avogadro's number and the following formula. This formula allows us to convert between number of moles, N, and number of particles, big N. So when calculating number of moles using this formula, we will be given our big N, which is our number of particles, compounds, formula units, or atoms, and we will use Avogadro's number. This is a constant, and it is 6.02 times 10 to the 23. Let's take a look at this triangle over here, and that relates our three bit variables in the following way. Number of moles is equal to your number of atoms or molecules, particles or formula units, divided by Avogadro's number or Avogadro's constants. I can also work out the number of atoms or molecules or whatever that is by taking the number of moles and multiplying it by Avogadro's number. This is what the variables are and this is their units. Let's take a look at how we use this formula by looking at particular examples. Here's our first example and it reads how many molecules are there in 10 grams of sodium hydroxide. Now the first thing that I want to point out is we do not use this formula here on the left. Remember this formula here on the left although it uses grams mass and grams as is given in the question and it uses molar mass as we can work out by looking at sodium hydroxide this formula would calculate number of moles. And we're not looking for number of moles as our final answer. We're going to use this formula to help us with part one of our question, but we can't stop there. If we stop there, we would have calculated N, but N is not number of molecules. N is number of moles. We will then have to go ahead and use number of moles in the second formula over here, along with Avogadro's number in order to calculate big N, because remember, Big N is the number of particles, atoms, or molecules. As I stated over here, big N, number of molecules. And that's exactly what our question is asking for. So let's go ahead and do this. As I mentioned, we are ultimately trying to end up here, number of molecules. We can use Avogadro's number. We know what that is. It's 6,2 times 10 to the 23 but we do not know our number of moles yet. So we have two unknowns. So we're gonna put this equation or this formula on pause. We're first gonna use this formula over here in order to calculate the number of moles. Then I'm gonna use that answer over here along with Avogadro's number to calculate number of molecules. So what I'll do first is I'll list the variables that I have. I will write the formula, substitute in, and get an answer for number of moles. So there are my variables that I know based off of the question. How did I get 40 grams per mole? Remember, that is the molar mass of sodium hydroxide. So I use my periodic table, 23 plus 16 plus 1, the atomic masses, in order to get the molar mass, 40. Now I'm going to calculate number of moles. So you'll get a mark for your formula, you'll substitute in, and you get an answer of 0, 0.25 mole. But remember, that is N, number of moles, not molecules. So now what we're going to do, part two, is we're going to use this formula over here. N is going to be 0, 0.25, we just calculated it. And we're going to use Na, which is a constant, Avogadro's number, and we're going to get the number of molecules. Right, so that's 0, 0.25 number of moles will go there. Let's write our formula, substitute, and get an answer. Take note how I've substituted. And remember, in a Avogadro's number is a constant. Technically, it's this full number over here. But because we round off to at least two decimal places, we use this version of Avogadro's constant as is on our formula sheet, 6,02 times 10 to the 23, in order to solve for n number of moles. As you can see, we are dividing over here by Avogadro's number. So when I take it over, I'm going to multiply by Avogadro's number to get my number of molecules N. And there's our answer. Remember the question asked for number of sodium hydroxide molecules, not atoms, so that is our final answer. What if I had to ask you how many atoms there are in 1.505 times 10 to the 23 molecules of sodium hydroxide? Now, this seems like a little bit of a weird question, but what if I had to ask you this first? If I have one sodium hydroxide molecule, how many atoms do I have? Well, you'll tell me that I have a sodium atom, so that's one, one oxygen atom, so that's two, 
one hydrogen atom, so that's three. So in one molecule of sodium hydroxide, I have three atoms. Let's try this one. What about three sodium hydroxide molecules? Now remember, three sodium hydroxide molecules will look like this. NaOH, NaOH, and NaOH. So that's one, two, three sodiums, one, two, three oxygens, and one, two, three hydrogens. That's three, six, nine, nine atoms in total. So let's take a look at this question again. If each sodium molecule, sodium hydroxide molecule, has three atoms, if I have three sodium hydroxide molecules, you go three times three. If I have two sodium hydroxide molecules, I go two times three. So if I have this many sodium hydroxide molecules and I want to know how many atoms, we simply take that number and we multiply it by three. Again, why three? Because one sodium hydroxide molecule in total has one, two, three atoms. So therefore, the answer to this question would simply be 4, 515 times 10 to the 23 atoms. Keeping this in mind, let's take a look at a more difficult question than the first one. So our question says, determine the number of oxygen atoms in 202 grams of potassium nitrate. Now, you can't tell me that there's three oxygen atoms because there would be three oxygen atoms in one molecule, but we don't know how many molecules we have. Remember, in order to work out the number of molecules we have, what we first have to do is get n number of molecules by using moles and Avogadro's number. But I don't know moles, I know mass. So the very, very, very first step is to use this formula. So ultimately, we're going to go from mass to moles, then we're going to go from moles to number of molecules. And once I know the number of molecules, I will multiply that answer by three. Why three? Because one molecule has three oxygen atoms. So if I have two molecules, I'm going to have two times three, I'll have six oxygen atoms. If I have three molecules, I'm going to have three times three, I'm going to have nine oxygen atoms and so on. So we'll work out our molecules, our number of molecules, and multiply that by three. So here's a visual representation of the pathway that we'll follow in this question. Mass to moles using our first formula, moles to molecules using our second formula, and then once we know the number of molecules, we'll multiply it by three. Remember, it's only three in this particular question because this molecule of potassium nitrate has three oxygen atoms, and the question wants the number of oxygen atoms. So step one, use the 202 grams to calculate number of moles. So there's my number of moles. Now quickly, how did I get big M? Remember that is molar mass. If you need a recap over this formula and how to calculate molar mass, check the links in my description below. But this is basically how I got the molar mass of potassium nitrate, adding up the atomic masses. Now that I have my number of moles, I'm going to convert that to molecules using my second formula. So what I've done over here is I've substituted my number of moles in the place of N. I've written Avogadro's number. This is a constant. Now I'm going to say 2 multiplied by Avogadro's number. And that gets me 1,204 times 10 to the 24. Now remember, this will get me the number of potassium nitrate molecules. But remember, in total, one molecule of potassium nitrate has 1, 2, three, four, five atoms. So if I have this many molecules of potassium nitrate, how do I work out the number of oxygen atoms as my question states? Remember, you take your number of molecules and we're going to multiply it by three. Again, why is it three? Because each molecule, one molecule, has three oxygen atoms. So this many molecules has this number times three oxygen atoms. So you can do this in a completely new line for me. Take the number of molecules times three equals this over here is your final answer. Three comma six one two. You may round that off to two decimal places times 10 to the 24 oxygen atoms. Remember, you would have stopped there if the question asked you for number of potassium nitrate molecules, but it specifically asked for the number of oxygen atoms.
In the other videos in my playlist, we look at how to calculate number of moles, as well as things like volume at STP and concentration of a solution using some of these other formulae. Remember to check out the links in my description below for more stoichiometry videos, more chemistry and more physics videos.